The Milestone Fundamentals of IP Surveillance Systems provides a foundation of knowledge that will help you as you move on to design, install, configure, troubleshoot, and interact with Milestone IP Surveillance Systems. In this video tutorial, you will learn how networking basics relate to the operation of an XProtect system. Networking plays a critical role in an IP-based surveillance system. Milestone XProtect servers are at the center of Milestone IP surveillance networks. Let's look at the network components. All devices, including servers, use Network Interface Controllers NIC, to connect to other devices, also known as a Network Interface Card, Network Adapter, LAN Adapter, or Physical Network Interface. The NIC is used to connect a computer to the computer network. An Ethernet NIC typically has an electrical connector, RJ45, but may also be an optical connector or a wireless interface, Wi-Fi. Every NIC has a unique media access control, MAC address, that's used to identify it. A MAC address is a globally unique identifier assigned to network devices and, therefore, is often referred to as hardware or physical address. The MAC address is usually permanently assigned to each NIC by the vendor. While you can connect a server directly to a camera, in almost every case, you will first connect it to a network switch. An IP surveillance system can have a number of switches throughout the network. Unmanaged switches provide basic connectivity between network devices at a low cost. Managed switches have a GUI and also a more technical command line interface, CLI, which allow network administrators to create scripts to program and manage multiple switches. They support advanced networking features that are often beyond the needs of an IP surveillance network. Switches connect multiple devices in a network by transmitting data via Ethernet from one specific device to another specific device. Ethernet cabling is commonly referred to as CAT5 or CAT6 cabling and uses a two or four pair twisted cable. The maximum allowed cable length is 100 meters, 300 feet. The effective maximum data transfer rate depends on the quality of the cabling, the length of the cable, and the electrical and electromagnetic interference the cable is subjected to. Let's add a camera. Now we have a basic local area network, LAN. While each device has a unique MAC address, a network needs additional information to properly deliver data from one specific device to another. Networks use IP addresses to do this. Within a given network, each IP address must be unique. However, unlike MAC addresses, you can assign and change the IP address for a given device. An IP, Internet Protocol address, is a user or provider assigned address assigned to a NIC for identification and location addressing. There are two IP versions, IPv4 and IPv6. An IPv4 address is a 32-bit number written in four decimal octets and is by far the most common version used both on the internet and on private networks. An IPv6 address is a 128-bit number and is written in eight hexadecimal quartets separated by colons. IPv6 is increasingly used on the public internet due to a lack of available IPv4 addresses. Next, we'll add a workstation to view the video in this simple but complete IP surveillance network. Note the flow of information from the camera to the switch and onto the server, and from the server through the switch to the workstation. While complete, this simple network is appropriate for only the most limited installations. A more realistic installation has multiple cameras and can have multiple workstations. Milestone recommends that you place cameras on a network that is separate from the workstations and the rest of the company's networks. You can do this by adding a second NIC and a second switch. This way, the traffic on one network doesn't affect the traffic on the other. This approach is more secure as well. Traffic on the client network will not affect recording, and users on the client network cannot access the cameras and try to hack into them. 